Julio asks, Bro, how come my dick seems smaller on trend, and how can I prevent the night sweats? All right. The penis has androgen receptors in it that have receptors for male hormones. And it also has estrogen receptors and progesterone receptors, like all cells in your body do. So trenbolone is kind of a jack-of-all-spades hormone. Yeah, it stimulates the androgen receptor really, really hard. As hard as the most potent male natural hormone, dihydrotestosterone. But trenbolone also stimulates estrogen and progesterone receptors. And for progesterone especially, it stimulates that, that receptor pretty good. And so you get uh, all these different signals in your penis with trenbolone. And so it makes your penis malfunction. <laughs> yeah, if you take enough Trembolone, it won't really matter. And I'm talking more than a gram per week. I'm talking more than a gram per week. Um, and for this effect to, you know, totally come on and there's no getting out of it, this comes on at about 2,000 milligrams per week. For most, some can get away with it. Complete chemical castration and sexual dysfunction, inability to get an erection, it's not possible, and inability to orgasm, it's not possible. Even if you're running cabergol or Pramipexil with the Trembolone. So that's the reality because of the jack-of-all-spades hormone receptor stimulator that Trembolone is. That's the reality when you go up high enough in the dosages because you're giving your penis mixed signals with all that trend, bro. So best way to not have a smaller dick on trend, don't take trend because it's not a big difference, okay? It's just that it's maybe a 15 or 10% difference. It's not a big difference. But it's a little bit smaller in length and girth, and this happens with everyone. And if they say that it's not, I'm sorry, they're lying, okay? That's, you know, it's very obvious to know why a bodybuilder, you know, that is projecting the image of a strong, healthy man would not want to, you know, be talking about dysfunctional penis on him. You know, it's, it's not congruent psychologically with the character that is a bodybuilder. Uh, but yeah, the penis does gets, it doesn't get as big when it gets erect on trend and, uh, trend also really shrinks your balls. So more than any other steroid, um, like you know, when they talk about like raisins or like, or like these small nuts, <laughs> you know, all the bad steroid side effects, you know, all the really, uh, you know, bad stereotypes. Those are all from trend, trend rage, trend abuser. Uh, they, it really is the epitome of the stereotypes of steroid use. You know, it does turn your balls into raisins, like especially if you don't use ca cabergolin or Pramipexil, like, and even when you do, um, it, it's more like, you know, they might be 60% or 70% their natural size when you do use Trenbolo, uh when you do use Cabergol or Pramipexil, but if you don't, I mean, they can be like, you know, definitely less than half their natural size. And, you know, I hear this frequently with guys saying that they lose their testicles, like they go up inside of them and they have an empty sack and they don't know where their balls are. They're They're still there. They're not destroyed. You know, they're still there. But they're no longer in their ball sack. They, like, retract it back up to them. And I'm not kidding you. This, dude, I really have had, it's mostly old guys that have told me this. Guys that are, you know, around 50 years old or so. But some guys that have been around 30 years old have told me this, too. So it's not just restricted to the older guys. Uh, that, you know, they don't know where their balls are. And they have an empty sack. Their balls are still there. But they, you know they they haven't they haven't stopped the trend you know for years and or at least not frequently you know they're trend abusers they're trend abusers let's put it that way they're a trend abuser trend abusers generally have penis that doesn't work very well penis that is smaller than what their normal natural penis would be and really shrunken testicles and uh, sometimes up inside their body sometimes an empty sack. There's no way to prevent night sweats on Trenbolone other than not eating. The, yeah, if you don't eat, then your body temperature cools, okay? But 
what happens is you sweat when you're taking Tren. You sweat in your bed. And then once you're wet like that, then it starts to get freaking freezing because it all evaporates off your body. It's like an air conditioner blowing on you in the middle of the night out of nowhere. Yeah, night sweats freaking suck. The best thing to do if you if you get a horrible night sweat and you wake up shivering and like feeling like total hell in the middle of the night on Tremblone, the best thing to do is go take a hot shower. Just walk out of the freaking bed and get in the hot shower and put yourself out of that misery and suffering, okay? <laughs> Fuck trend. Fuck trend. This is why I'm saying Primo is the shit. Primo.